what do you think brings happiness? What is it in a person's life that they need to be happy? Um, I would say purpose. I I know that purpose, the word purpose is very broad in general. Um, yeah, essentially, it is, it's super vague because it's, it's, it's so subjective. Um, but if you're able to find some sort of purpose in, say, what is your purpose in your family life, in your friendship cycles, in your relationships, in your work life, then that kind of comes together and creates your purpose for your own life. And so if you know where you stand with each of those topics or those um, aspects of life, then I think you would feel fulfilled. And I think you would feel as if you are accomplishing things. So you don't need to be the richest guy in the world. You don't need to be the smartest person in the world. But if you feel fulfilled with your purpose, then you, I guess in a sense, essentially you're happy. That it's a very interesting perspective, bro, because it's completely different to what I think. And I, yeah. I love that you've you've sort of worded that so properly, um, because I think that's how a lot of people um, end up moving their lives is they're trying to find that purpose. And I think yeah. a life without purpose is a life wasted. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. I'm more than just a pretty face. Yeah. Bow <laughs> <laughs> gets deep, bro. We're getting deep. Hundred percent. Here we go. Um, <laughs> but. From what I believe and how I've um, seen life and through reading the Bible and just growing up as a Christian, I found that purpose can still leave a void because sometimes we find a purpose that lasts five years or we find a purpose that won't last forever. I think Mm -hmm. that that void you were talking about, trying to fill it with something, I think we all attempt to do that at some point. Oh, we, we all try to do it with either a job, a relationship, thing. Oh, like a hobby. Yeah. Hobbies. Like everyone's trying to fill that void. But then I think there comes a point in a person's life where they look back at the five years, they look back at the 10 years, or they even look back at that day when their head's on their pillow and they realize that void is still not filled. Mm. I mean, there's that famous um, saying about the richest man on earth 20 years ago said, they asked him, they go, are you happy? Yeah. He goes, no. They go, what mm. will it take to be happy? He goes, I just need that little bit more. Yeah. And it's interesting to note that because I personally believe the one thing that does fill that void is um, the salvation of Jesus Christ. Mm. I think that every single one of us is looking for a relationship that lasts forever. And I think that that relationship is a relationship with Jesus Christ. You not being a Christian and you looking at life another way what are your thoughts on that seeing that from a christian's perspective i will always respect anyone who um who is so knee deep in their religion um i think we all need something to i guess look towards or have faith in Mm. and um i think coming from my perspective I've, I'm a bit, what's the word? I, I like to, again, I'm very practical. So yeah. I'm very hard on myself at the same time. So my ideology has always been, well, has always been like our potential is always limited by what we believe in ourselves. Okay. So in that sense, your faith in yourself will limit your potential to how far I can go in life. So that, that's my perspective on how I approach my life. It's the more you believe in yourself, the more faith you have in yourself, the more you can execute things that you never knew you could. So like, for example, you, like the faith you have in yourself to start these podcasts and to start these talks and have these chats with people could only ever start with your own faith in yourself. And so your potential is going to skyrocket because you have all of this support and you have all of this self-belief. That... Is that, does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And then, so that goes the same with anyone who I train. It's self-belief um, will always create a, a higher ceiling for your potential. So my, my, my business, or I don't know if anyone knows this, but um, my business is called BDL Fitness, or the BDL stands for Breaking Down Limits. Mm-hmm. And I want to be breaking down limits, not just in fitness, but in life. 
because I strongly believe that fitness only encapsulates maybe 30% of your life. Mm -hmm. The other 70% is up for grabs. It's literally in anyone's hands, but by understanding that breaking down your own limits, that 70% then becomes accountable for you. You, you, then if all that, all that pressure is, all that um, potential is now in your own hands. So I try and train people to take control of their life because no one else should ever have the lead. And so in saying that, how I break down limits and how I do that is you, I want to teach clients and teach people in general that your, your purpose is directly derived from how much you believe in yourself.